Americans. Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke is facing some crucial decisions in the coming months as he tries to solve this Rubik's Cube of an economy. It's extremely tricky. I mean, we haven't been here before, both in terms of the financial crisis, in terms of the policies they're engaged in. The Fed, for example, is spending well over a trillion dollars to buy up mortgage loans from banks. That allows the banks to then lend more and props up the housing market. The Federal Reserve has been buying about 80 percent of all mortgage debt that's issued. Some months it's, they've been buying 100 percent. Well, that program's set to end at the end of March. Here's why that's critical. At its peak three years ago, nearly $2 trillion was flowing through the credit markets. This year, it's estimated to be just $150 billion. If the Fed stops buying mortgages, the cost of borrowing could quickly soar. If the Fed does withdraw this support, what happens to interest rates? Well, you're looking at mortgage rates that would probably spike about a full percentage point higher. The 30-year fixed mortgage, now at a little over 5%, could jump to more than 6%. That would be bad news for the housing market, still struggling to get back on its feet. You haven't felt any significant change yet? Um, not yet. Builder Tom DiBenedetto had 11 employees in his Nyack, New York contracting business. Now he's down to just two. He'd like to start rehiring. But I don't want to commit to somebody and hire them and then all of a sudden, a couple months down the line, not have work for them. By holding down interest rates, the Fed's trying to get a fire going in the economy. But if it doesn't catch soon, Ben Bernanke may need more matches. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.